Norris going to the basket, lays it up, misses. Oh, oh, oh. With a rebound. And there it is, Charles Barkley, 16 wonderful years in the NBA, one of the greats of all time, goes out with a basket. Thanks a lot, Charles, it's been a great ride. <laughs>you know what, our Tom Heights is usually great with this, but tonight is Charles Barkley night. He should have had a Charles Barkley auto zone this day in history. He fell one short on the last day of the regular season. If you've got an issue with Hurricane, you have to take it up with him. <laughs> Charles Barkley wore number 34 when he came into the league with the Sixers back in 84. In 1991, he would change the number 32 in honor of Magic Johnson, then went back to 34, and tonight he put the number 4 he wears in Houston back on one more time, determined to, to not have his last NBA memory be that painful December night when his career effectively ended with a knee injury. Charles has always done it his way. And that was the story again tonight at Compact Center as he returned and then bid farewell. Before the game, launching a few out there with Carlos Rogers. And then he gives his jersey away as did the rest of the members of the team on this final night of the regular season. Look at the mascot from Denver. Rocky comes down. Rocky flies in to get knocked out by Sir Charles. And then Charles gets the call from Rudy T in the second period. Waste to check in and... Here you go. Wouldn't he be able to dent the scoring column in his short stint? Pretty good look, but it won't fall over Bryant Big Country. He's never been a jump shooter, but he knocks people out. He's been doing this for years. A triple teaming Rocky, and, and then it's all over for him, and there goes the pin right there. He finally did score. Listen up. Uji Norris going to the basket, lays it up. Miss Gucci Norris, and there it is, Charles Barkley, 16 wonderful years in the NBA, one of the greats of all time, goes out with a basket. <laughs> Shame on you, Bill. No, I mean, that's Rocky's mascot, right? It was a tremendous night at Compaq Center, filled with smiles all night long, and Charles Barkley gets in the scoring column in the shade over six minutes of work. Nobody really cares about the final score. No one will remember that the Grizzlies won that game 96 to 92. It was Charles Barkley's night going out the way he wanted to. And Charles Barkley, the subject of the line of the night, 16 NBA seasons, the MVP in 93. Look at the point total, 13th all-time, averaged about 22 a night, two Olympic gold medals, 11 times an all-star. Tonight he had two points, one rebound, and one assist. Craig Sager was there all night. He talked to Charles about the significance of the evening. Well, Charles Barkley has achieved his goal of walking off the court on his own. The box score about seven minutes, a big basket, an offensive rebound. Was it worth it? Oh, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Uh, I put a lot of time and effort into my rehab. Hey, my last memory was uh, scoring a basket, not being carried off the court. That was a bonus. I really just wanted to get a rebound. And it took me a long time to get a rebound. The doctor was nervous the whole time because my knee is only about 70%. And that rebound came to me, so I got lucky. I couldn't have jumped to get it. After 23,755 points, did you ever think you'd score again? Uh, well, I didn't even think I was going to score tonight. Uh, I just, like I said, I want to get one rebound. Because rebound's the thing I'm most proud of. Uh, but that's a lot of points. So uh, even though I only got two tonight, I've got a lot of them to think about. When you came into the league, they said you're a tweener. Maybe too short for power forward. Uh -huh. Too slow or too big for a small forward, yet you're in the top 15 in scoring of all time in the top 15 in rebounding. How do you sum up your career? Well, the, the big fella upstairs gave me some stuff that a lot of people didn't have. I can't take credit for it. I want to, but I can't. Uh, God just gave me a tremendous amount of ability. I can't take credit for it, though, Craig. So the end of another chapter for Charles Barkley. His next chapter will be written here at... Uh, 
Turner Broadcasting, TNT and TBS. He'll join us full time next year and we'll probably see him during the playoffs a time or two or three. And uh, we certainly look forward to having Charles Barkley with us. He has been a joy wherever he's been, and he's always been Charles wherever he's been. Definitely. We talked about not being a jump shooter, I said earlier, but it was so appropriate that he gets an offensive rebound and a putback as his last memory of playing basketball because that's what he made famous at six foot four. If that, he was the only guy at that size to be able to do things he does. And I think it was a great tribute to go out the way he did and ride off into the sunset. And Rudy Tomjanovich in the ceremony after the game saying he was the ultimate team player, always did exactly what the team wanted of him, except those few times where he would launch those three-pointers. He wasn't going <laughs> to let the moment go without pointing that out. When we come back on Inside the NBA, presented by Hyundai, more highlights from the final night of the